Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of your little TV. I hope you well from whatever you're watching this channel. The unity between Carlos Obsioka and Gideon Moy has sent shockwaves amongst the people within the Kenya Kwanza uh, uh, section. Gideon Moy reemergence in the political scene since the 2022 elections has seemingly exposed wiper leader Kalonzo Musyoka's scheme to revive One Kenya Alliance or a wing of Azimiola Umoja One Kenya Coalition Party. Gideon Moy has been politically unavailable lately, especially after what happened during the 2022 general election. He took a political backseat. The only time I saw Gideon Moy was when there was an event in Kamba. And then that event, Raila Molodinga appeared, was, uh, I think, was in attendance. That is the time Gideon Moy surfaced. But we know that Gideon Moy was still part of Oka. He had never taken position about him, you know, withdrawing from that for formation. So it's alleged that Kalonzo Sioka uh, had a secret meeting with uh, Gideon Moy at uh, his Kabarak uh, home. And in that meeting, the speculation is that Eugene Omala was in attendance. There was Mwangi Wairia was in attendance. There were some other leaders who were part of Azimio who were also in attendance in that meeting. So the speculation here is that Kalezo Psyoka could be looking at his future beyond 2025 because the expectation is that Next year, there's going to be an election of the AU C chair. And uh, if Raila decides to vie like he has said and wins that seat, then Raila will be politically out of uh, the national politics. And then he'll be forced to focus on the international politics. So, Kalezo Sioka wants to ride on that fact. So, that is the reason why he, you find that Saizi Kunaile formations like Oka members are coalescing. You know, Mwangi Wairia was not part of uh, Oka. Eugenio Mala was not also part of Oka. But because there is this realization that if Raila wins, which many people say that he might win, if he wins, then Kalazo Sioka in Abidi Kadzaka as Chese Vizuri. So I want us to go deeper into that realization whereby pundits are believing that Kalezo Sioka could find himself, you know, as a front runner of Azimio. So before we do that, please allow me to welcome you again to this channel. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please take a second and go there below. There's a button written subscribe. Please take one second and subscribe. That is the only support I request from you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, on to those who've supported us before, thank you so much for supporting our channel because without you, this channel wouldn't have grown. So the story that is doing the rounds is that Kalonzo and Gideon Moy are teaming up and the main objection objective is to unseat William Samoy Ruto. Just check this video. It has emerged that Kanu boss Gideon Moy Wednesday hosted Kalonzo Musioka, DAP Kenya leader Eugene Wamalwa and Usawa Kwawote's Mwangiwa Iria at his Kabarak home in Nakuru County. The trio spent the night in Nakuru before Thursday holding a public rally in the town. Kalonzo is said to be seeking to ride on Raila Odinga's candidature for the Africa Union Commission's top seat that could potentially exit him from local politics to rally other Azimio affiliate parties to coalesce around him and subsequently support him in the 2027 general election. Very well. If you're following that story keenly, then it is telling you that the political realignment here or what is being experienced right now, because if you looked at what Raila Molodinga did yesterday, Raila had a tour of the Kisi County and in his entourage there was the Kisi governor and there were so many other political uh, 
politicians are led to Azimio who are in attendance there. And Raila attracted a mammoth crowd. So, Pale, Raila managed to say that he, if he, even if he secures the AUC chair, Adisababa na Nairobi siombali. Or he said, Adisababa na Kisi siombali. He said that even if he secures that position, he will still be play his cards huko and also play his cards upper locally. I think he's trying to say that even when he secured the infrastructure head, you know, AU infrastructure head, he still managed to juggle between the uh, international duties and the local duties. So I think that is something that you're aware of. He was still playing as an infrastructure head, AU, but also still doing some local politics. He didn't leave the local politics. So this latest move by Kalonzo Msiokam, of course, we know that is is part of the plan to uh, ride on the fact that Raila might exit the political scene. And since Raila might exit the political scene, there are going to be political offense. Some people said, someone said, a politician I was uh, uh, watching on, on Light TV said that Raila Molodinga's AUC bid if he secures it, is going to leave so many political orphans. So I think uh, Kalonzo Sioka realizes that this political orphans will be beneficial to his political career or the f political future. Then the future is uh, securing the presidency. So he knows that he needs people like Joe, people like Junet Mohamed. He needs them. He needs someone like uh, Edwin Sifuna. He needs someone like... Uh, uh, weekly for Paranya, weekly for Mbesa or Paranya. So these are people who have been with Raila Molodinga. But Kalonzo needs them to be able to be stronger in his political team or political formation. So I think that is why you see that there's this story of Oka bouncing back. Some people are saying Oka is bouncing back. Yes, maybe Oka is bouncing back just because he met Gideon Moy. Let's look at it from this angle. What if Oka died? Because Oka initially was a Gino, was a, not a Gino Mala, but was a Moses Wetangula, was a Musala Mudavadi, there was Gideon Moy, and then there was Mata Karua, and then there was Kalonzo Sioka. But if you look at the entourage of Kalonzo Sioka, Mata Karua was missing in that meeting. I have not seen Mata Karua in that uh, video or not seen, uh, but from my facts, Matakarua did not attend that meeting. The meetings were Kabarak, and then there was a public uh, uh, rally, or roadside rally, uh, that was, uh, that Kalonzo Msioka had uh, convened. So, but Matakarua appears to have been missing in that entourage. So, what do you think could be the reason why Matakarua did not attend, if at all, the story that is going around that Oka is bouncing back, if at all that story is, is true? Let's just look at the political uh, uh, chances of uh, of Kalonzo with uh, Mata Karua and Kalonzo with Gideon Moy. Right now, Kanu is not performing the way it was previously during Moy's era. We know about that. But you see, we also know that Mata Karua is the party leader of NAC Kenya. Now, since Mata Karua is the party leader of NAC Kenya, we expect that he is also she is also going to, you know, assume... Uh, that he would want to take the political basket that Raila Molodinga is going to leave, or rather those political orphans, because he, she was the second in command in Azimio's uh, hierarchy, the second in command. Of course, we also know that uh, uh, Uhuru Kenyatta will give Kalonzo Msioka blessings, but Uhuru can also decide to give Matakarua his blessings and decided that maybe Matakaro is the right person to lead the ship. That can also be a case. We're not ruling out all those possibilities, but the most important part here is that Kalonzo realizes that there's a need to bring back Oka. So if there is need to bring back Oka, then I think Matakaro is also part of Oka. He, she was in Oka before she joined Raila Molodinga and became the running mate of Raila Molodinga. So ladies and gentlemen, what do you make of that move by Kalonzo? to go back to Gideon Moy, have a secret meeting that was held at Kabarak, by the way. That meeting, what do you think would have been the agenda? I speculate here. I say that maybe one of the agenda was to how going forward they will deal with William Ruto's uh, 
uh, popularity and that's why you find that in that roadside rally Kalonzo Musyoka took advantage of the fact that there is a need to return the the housing levy uh, which was deducted from Kenyans this is something that William Ruto must or will have to do if he wants to be relevant in 2027 because if he doesn't do that there is great possibility that Kitaumana I see a scenario where Kitaumana so ladies and gentlemen what do you make of this move by Kalonzo Musyoka just tell us below the comment section. Now, perhaps if you're watching this video and you have not subscribed, please take one second and subscribe to this channel. Give this video a like. And until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.